Right now, we've been bringing you the latest coverage on the Supreme Court's decision to overturn Roe v. Wade. Tennessee is one of several states, as we told you, that has laws in place to restrict abortions. Many of you have been asking us what this could mean for the foster care system. WAT6 on your side reporter Kristen Gallant went straight to the experts to help answer this question for us. Kristen. Bo, according to the Department of Children's Services 2020-2021 annual report, they provided residential child care, including foster care, to over 7,000 children. The need for foster parents continues to be a growing concern, especially as adoption and foster care agencies prepare for more children to enter the system due to this ruling. More and more children will be placed in foster care as a result of this overturning of Roe versus Wade. And so we, we feel like that we have to get ready for that. Dr. Walt Malden is the executive director of Smoky Mountain Children's Home in Sevierville. There are approximately a little over 100 in our foster care program, uh, about 32 in our a residential program. This is only a small portion of the amount of children in foster care programs across the state. Right now, there are 9,119 children and young people in state custody. The average age of their children is around 13. Only about 30% age out each year. They're prepared for these numbers to shift as laws that restrict abortions will start to impact our state. If we have 9,000 today, then what is that going to be in one or two years? What are some of the things that you all can do now to prepare for that future? So if we are seeing an influx of of more and more foster children in the state of Tennessee, then we're going to have to prepare and, and hire more case managers, uh, make sure that we're ready for those children coming into the system. Having enough foster parents is always a concern. We're training more foster parents than ever before, but uh, we believe that that's going to be a, another need. Dr. Molden did mention that there are hundreds of families looking to adopt out of foster care. Last year, over 1,600 children in foster care joined their forever families. Lori. All right, Kristen, thank you. Last year, 2,300 people in Tennessee completed pre-service training to become foster parents. Foster care agencies hoping to top that number for the next fiscal year.